have read the title, I hope. Today, I am going to be trying for two days. I'm going to be trying to write like Stephen King. This is inspired by another YouTuber who did this exact thing. This was her most popular video, but I was very intrigued. This was how I got into her channel, and I have her linked in the description. Um, if I remember, let's hope I do, she tries authors' routines and whatnot to try, you know, see you know, what she likes, you know, she, does she like it or not, you know? So I've decided that is what I'm going to do today. I have read about 300 pages worth of Stephen King in my life. I'm only 16, so I guess that's reasonable. It was from It. Before going to see the movie, I wanted to see if I could read the book. Turns out I didn't I didn't finish it. If you know It, you know it's much longer than 300 pages. Um, I've read way more than that in my life. I mean, I'm gonna tell you that right now. However, uh, yes, that was... I just didn't finish it. But I loved his writing style. I love the whole going back and forth between the past and the present. And something that that YouTuber didn't do in those videos was she was, while well, yes, writing with the same routine as the author, she wasn't writing the same way the author writes. I want to see if I can not only write the same way Stephen King writes with his, you know, what he does in the morning, you know, when he's ready to write, what does he do? I've done, I've done some research. Obviously, it's not huge, because apparently he doesn't have this big, dedicated schedule all day. Um, however, I'm going to try what I've seen and go with it. However, as I said, I'm also going to be writing in the style of Stephen King, so I've decided to start a novella. I've written, I've been writing for a long time, so, uh, yes, I'm going to start with a novella. We're going to see where it goes because I've already started, I'm almost at 3,000 words. Um, uh, in the last two times I've started writing it, or been writing it, I have a, a good foundation for what I'm going to write. As I said, I'm trying to write in the style of Stephen King. I am trying to put way more detail into what I'm writing. I'm trying to go on tangents. I'm trying to elaborate heavily on things. Not because I want to copy Stephen King, but I want to see if I can get myself to write in a different way, and maybe that'll end up influencing my regular writing. Um, this story is entirely my own. It's not copied from Stephen King, from what I know. I, he hasn't done a piece of work like this before. From what I've read of his books, I'm going to see if I can replicate the way he writes to, from the routine side of things, I'm going to see, you know, what of his routine works for me. And from the writing side of things, I'm going to see what part of his writing style do I like that I think I could incorporate in my own. It is, it's 8.22, so we're a bit late. I read in an article that he likes to wake up in the morning, um, have a glass of water and tea, and look out the window from around 8 to 8.30ish. However, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, because, as you already know, it's already 8.22, so I am going to have a glass of water, and I'm going to make myself coffee. I don't really, I don't like tea. Do we even have tea in the house? Who knows? So, so I'm going to make coffee, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to get into it. I'm just going to see where the day brings us, because, as I said, his writing routine wasn't very specific. However, there's a big important thing. Everyone says, Stephen King, he writes, he tries to write six pages a day. Okay, well, six pages a day for me would be 1,800 words. Can I write that today? I think it's possible. Because the first time I tried writing this, I wrote 1,700 words in, in one sitting. So if I can get all of this done in one sitting, that will be really great. Because I have other stuff to do as a student. Bye. Alrightio Spaghettio. I am very tall, I know. I'm in my kitchen. It's now 831. Oh my gosh, Stephen King, don't kill me. <laughs> Got the old coffee pot. I feel like whenever I get on camera, I just totally forget. 
what the hell I was trying to do. I'm going to get myself a glass of water because he said he drank water. I am now filming or recording audio using the camera's microphone, so it's not it's not as good as the one I normally use. And the whole reason I'm using the camera's microphones is because, I don't know, when I'm in the kitchen, it's just so much easier to use those microphones than having my computer also set up recording separately for audio. I want my water to be lemony because I'm not in the mood for plain water right now, so. That's bearable. Let's start with the coffee. Okay, we have instant coffee here. If I just use this, instead of having to blend my own, because I hardly drink coffee in this house, would I be able to not have to blend? What's I going with that? Who knows? This video is in 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is gonna be a real bitch when editing, but you know. Okay, we have a clean, that's my dog. We have a clean coffee pot. We are ready to brew some fucking coffee. Also, with the whole writing like Stephen King, I will be writing a more adult themed book. Already my, my characters are older. I just want to see if it works like this. If it ends up being super crappy coffee, so be it. You know what I mean? I'm not drinking this because I, because I need to. Oh, right. I should have started boiling my water a long time ago. For some reason, I just thought that the water boiled inside of the coffee brewer. While my water is boiling, why don't we take this refreshing glass to the living room? Alrighty, we're here. Oh, look who's come to join. So, in the fashion of Stephen King, I will at least dedicate the time that the water is boiling and the coffee is um, brewing to looking out the window. So at least while still late in the day, later than he would like, uh, we are still getting the whole, the whole experience. My dog is crying for no reason. Tuco, stop with the crying. You know, I just remember that coffee is the kind of thing that like goes bad quickly. What is even in this? Is there like an expired date? Oh my goodness. Best before 2018. Okay, so that's enough with this. I am so glad I just checked the expiry date on that because otherwise I would have like died on the inside. I would have been unable to continue this. Okay, it appears we have no other form of coffee other than not brown, so I'm gonna have to do it myself. Well, that should be good, you know what I mean? All right, that's good enough. Let's hope that the whole taste from the instant coffee doesn't like arise with this one. We're gonna actually get into it now, you know what I mean? Like, we're gonna start writing. Um, I've got my water over there, so if I want it, I'll drink it. I've got my cup of coffee, which is mostly coffee. I don't like the taste of coffee. Um, but I like caffeine. Welcome to teenage problems. Uh, I'm gonna go on the couch now, and I'm gonna start writing, and I will meet you after I am done whatever time lapse I do. Okay, so I just wrote for one hour. I wrote from 9, 9.06 to 10, around there. So I got 949 words, so I'm halfway through my daily goal, you know what I mean, to really hit it home. But since it's already 10, 12, I'm gonna take a break. 
because I do have I do have quite a bit of time. Um, so I'm gonna take a break. I'm probably gonna edit some of this video and whatnot, and then I'll I will see you again. Um, however, that was fun. I bought way more than I thought I would. I thought I wouldn't really be able to write at all. It was fine. Nothing, it was nothing insane, but you know, it, it was definitely passable. Okay, so apparently, not only did I not write again that day, but I didn't even record something telling, um, telling you that I wouldn't be writing anymore, because I just, I just had too much schoolwork, and I lost track of time, and I just never remembered, you know, write, write again, so, you know, here's tomorrow, the next day. So we're gonna consider that day and a failed Stephen King day. He says he doesn't always get six pages. Well, I assume when he says he doesn't get six pages, he gets like five and a half. Um, so yeah, my three and a half-ish. Um, yeah, not so great, but we're gonna try again today, okay? It's all about the trying. So I've got water that I thought was boiling. Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. It is 8.33. I was surprised that I even wrote at all, because I, the whole time when I was preparing, to start my writing, I was thinking to myself, oh my god, there's no way I want to write right now. Like, I'm the kind of person who writes at 1 a.m. at a spur of the moment. Like, not, I don't write, like, at not 9 to 10. I wrote for a solid hour. That's, that's pretty good amount of time for me. Like, I have another project. I might have mentioned it earlier. Um, and it's currently in the works, though I get bored of it sometimes when I have no idea what to do next, so I just stop writing it. Like, I, I put it away, um, theoretically, because it's on my phone. I just, I stop writing it, because I get big writer's block, and I don't want to ever write this book when I have writer's block. Um, and since I'm not, you know, waiting for my publisher, or my publisher's waiting for me, I guess. Um, I don't have a publisher, I don't, I'm not writing this for anyone, I'm, you know what I mean? So I'm really gonna take my time, because I don't, I don't want to force it when it's not there. I think I'd just get terrible results if I did, so, yeah. That is looking delicious. I'm the kind of writer who, since I have no, um, necess- I have no need to write, like, there's nothing pushing me to write, I only write when I want to write. So, despite having a book that's, you know, almost halfway done, the writing process, the, the first draft kind of thing, um, I still don't want to write it all the time, and I will probably pick it up whenever the next time I actually am able to continue the story in my mind. Okay, I got the heating pad. I got changed, too. Because, who, I, I don't know, it's just the whole house coat thing being loose while I was writing kind of bothered me. So, I'm gonna be writing. start writing, I just wanted to say planning. That's what I was going for. Stephen King apparently does not do a lot of planning for his books. He is the kind of writer who likes to just go with it. He likes to maybe, maybe set up some characters and then, you know, like what they do and have an idea for the story and then he just likes to write it, as far as I know. That's the kind of writer I am. So, you know, maybe I am destined to write like Stephen King. Maybe this is what I'll be doing every morning for the rest of my life. I don't want to write for the rest of my life. You might be thinking, you know, why are you writing now? Because I want to, okay? Oh, but anyway, I'm not a planner. You know why I'm not a planner? Not because I've never tried planning. I'm, I'm a planner because planning doesn't work for the more I plan, the less I want to write. The more I plan my story out, even if I'm just planning out the next chapter before I start writing it, I will scrap that idea and write something else. 
because the more I plan it out, I don't know why, the more I find it stupid. So I just, I never use it, so I never plan anymore. Because I always know I'm either going to get massive writer's block and not be able to write it even though I have everything planned out, or I'm gonna completely scrap the idea anyway. So now I am officially a writer like Stephen King because I don't plan anything. Any, any details of the story? No. I have an idea for a scene that comes near the end of the story. That's it. That's all I have planned. <laughs> Whether I'll even incorporate it is completely beyond me. The chapter isn't going at all where I thought it would yesterday, and I'm happy with where it is now. The moral of the story, don't do what you don't want to do just because you think other people doing it is good. Don't do what you don't want to do just because other people tell you they do it. There you go. Just because some people outline their whole novel doesn't mean you have to. Stephen King doesn't, as far as I know. According to an interview, he is not a novel planner. Now I'm gonna actually start writing. Okay, so it is now, uh, like 12.10, so I wrote from a 927 to 12 ish then I kind of I kind of stopped it there I actually did the six pages thing technically not six pages in this book because I am doing smaller than average pages I'm doing pocket book size technically each page can only fit about 200 words even though my pages are going by uh, 300 and 300 times 6 is 1800. Uh, I wrote in that 12 and, uh, 12 and a half hour period. In that two and a half hours, I wrote 1849 words, so I passed the six page goal. So yeah, technically speaking, I wrote nine and a half, no, nine and a quarter pages um, for my book. So I'm very happy. Uh, I did it all in one day, two and a half hours, and I was happy with where the story was going. Um, I did a little flashback kind of thing, you know what I mean? I took it to the past. 